Agricultural land is in high demand. However, intensifying production in existing areas or expanding them creates a great risk of deteriorating ecosystems and losing valuable biodiversity. One way to avoid this trend is to develop multifunctional and biodiverse agricultural systems. But how would a landscape that simultaneously provides food, energy, clean water, space for recreation and biodiversity look like? Are there policies to mitigate conflicts and promote synergies between agricultural services and biodiversity? The Biodiversa Tail Project brought together scientists and stakeholders from five European countries to answer these questions. They developed scenarios on future land use options under different policy priorities. The scenarios were used to model the impacts of urbanization, forestry, agricultural practices and measures including organic farming and linear landscape elements on biodiversity and ecosystem services. The scientists explored which land use patterns were the most effective in providing food and fresh water for humans. They also used advanced techniques like Pareto optimization to identify best options to provide multiple benefits for ecosystem services and nature conservation. In the Kroma Ren area in the Netherlands, for example, they identified solutions with minimal trade offs between dairy farming, fruit production, landscape aesthetics, and the habitat for the great crested newt, an emblematic amphibian species. They also found out that priority areas for agricultural measures do not match with the areas designated in existing nature conservation plans. Based on these findings, stakeholders and policymakers now have a solid knowledge base to improve the plants, redesign the areas, and make sure they contribute to the multiple environmental and agricultural objectives. TAIL led to new collaborations, including new European research projects, and strengthened the cooperation among stakeholders and scientists. Their new method to identify trade-off solutions helps decision-makers to select the best possible compromises according to their needs and to implement sustainable land use and conservation strategies.